Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a short tutorial on the John James twin pointed quick stitch needles. I actually had a viewer request this and I used these needles a long time ago and I loved them and I'm not sure why I stopped using them. I can't remember. Now, the typical way these are used, if you look on the back, it says, now you can stitch faster than ever using a hands-free frame. Keep one hand above your work and one hand below at all times. Stitch straight up and down through your fabric without turning the needle around. Looping the thread over a finger if necessary to keep it taut and prevent from twisting. And they make it a point, do not hold the needle on the eye because you will break it. It can get weakened. Now, if you look at how this person stitches, they use both hands. I don't do it that way. You're going to see how I do it. I've never been able to comfortably with my left hand figure out, it just doesn't feel right. So I use my left hand sort of as a laying tool. Do you know what I mean? You'll see. Okay, so <clears throat> this is, of course, my Nora Corbett uh, Miss Solar Ellipse. These are a size 24, the needles. They come in 22, 24, 26. I bought the 24 just because of working on 28 count fabric. I gotta thread my needle. I gotta find what color I'm using, which is, let's see. What color? Okay, so I have my strands here. Let me get in a little closer. If you see the needle is in the center. You thread it like any other needle. Now, obviously your tendency is to hold it by the eye and I'll admit I've done that. I can't remember if I've broken any of these. I don't think I have. Okay, so. I just come up where I need to start, and I'm trying to figure out where I need to start over here. You come up. Now remember, I'm. let me start it, and then I'll... Then I'll do a couple stitches. Hell, who knows? Maybe I'll start using these needles again. Like I said, I was obsessed for a really long time. Okay. I have the stitch started. Now, normally when you stitch, you would bring the needle up. You would twist it. And then bring it back down. This, you don't. You just, you do a constant, you keep the needle in the same position. Up and down, up and down. If you've watched Vanna's tutorial on how she does it, she does the same thing, but she uses just a regular needle. Where she puts the eye of the needle through the fabric. And that's how she does it. Now, this does already, I see, the greatest benefit to using this is your thread's not twisting like it normally does. I'll admit, my thread normally twists. I hope you can see that. All, I, all you do, and I think I have a knot on the back of my thread. Okay. 
it's literally just an up and down motion. You don't twist the needle. See how I kind of use my other hand as a laying tool. Yeah, they say, I'm going to just demonstrate. Let me pull the thread out. They say to have your hand underneath the fabric like this. So let's just say the thread was on here. You would do this, pull it, go back down, pull it, up, pull it. And I've just never been able to do that. I just haven't. But yeah, I mean, you're just pulling straight back down. You're not having to. Here's my typical needle right here. Normally, you would up, down. You would be twisting the needle, which in turn twists your thread. I'm constantly letting my needle dangle when I'm stitching. So yeah, you just come up. Let me thread the needle again and I'll do a couple more stitches. And I actually cut this kind of, I keep hitting, I'm gonna cut that shorter. I keep hitting the, uh, the camera. <laughs> and you probably just saw my face there, didn't you? Maybe. Okay. Two, four, six, okay. You just come up, go right back down. Don't have to twist, don't have to do anything. Come up, right back down. And I like this size needle for 28 count. Size 24, I like it very much. So yeah, I think I am actually going to try to start using this needle again. Now, the only drawback that I see with this needle, wait a minute, I don't wanna lose count, is the fact that it is long. It's longer, a lot longer than a typical needle. Here is, let me try to lay this flat so you can see them side by side. That didn't work. Oh, well no, that's not gonna work either. I'm trying to lay this flat so you can see the needle side by side. Okay, here is the twin pointed needle. Here is my normal needle. You can see there is a huge difference. Which means if you're someone who likes to stitch down to the tiniest nub on your thread, you're not going to be able to do that with this needle because in the center, you're not going to have enough to be able to pull through. But if you're conscious of that and you don't mind that, these are a nice alternative. I'm pretty sure these were something like $2.49 for this pack of three on one, two, three stitch. I will put a link below to them. But that's it. I hope it helped. I know sometimes it's hard to demonstrate how to use something in a video, but very, very easy to use those needles. It just takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used to twisting your needle the normal way. But that's it for me today, guys. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.